Welcome to our weekly updates from Little Baby Bump, a mom and baby health center in BTM Layout, Bangalore. Here our eminent doctors give you tips on topical issues every week. Hi friends, welcome again to our series of podcasts uh, from Little Baby Bump. I have uh, the eminent obstetrics and gynecologist specialist uh, Dr. Purnima here with me. Welcome doctor. Hi. And uh, today we are here to talk about uh, something that's been hitting the media quite a bit recently and it seems to be something called CCOS. Do you want to sort of describe what it is and uh, what are the implications of it and what we can do to sort of uh, minimize the impact of it? Uh, PCOS is a short term which means uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Means, simply put, ovaries have many, many cysts. Polycysts is many cysts. Cyst is nothing but a fluid filled cavity, like a balloon. Small little balloons filled with fluid filled inside your ovaries on both sides, left ovary and right ovary. So how does it impact one's life? PCOS can usually starts as early as adolescence. So you may be seeing symptoms of overweight, having excessive hair, which is more resembling a, like a male type of hair, what we call as pituitism, where you see a lot of hair on the hands, upper arm, upper thighs, hair maybe even over the face, excessive facial hair, you may require repeated threading or waxing, and even hair on the uh, chest or sometimes and on the back. So these are excessive male pattern of hair, which we call as pituitism. Moving on further in her life, when she gets married, there can be irregular cycles, irregular periods. There may be subfertility, difficulty in having a child because of uh, not producing enough eggs, what we call as anovulation. Moving further on in her life, maybe in the 40s, again going on with irregular periods and maybe ultimately dangerously ending with what we call as uterine cancer and sometimes ovarian cancer. Added to all this, there may be symptoms related to diabetes. They may have early onset diabetes and obesity and its difficulties like heart problems and cardiovascular problems. If we can catch hold of it right at its root, that is, we are concentrating as the syndrome emerges somewhere around early 20s. And the deep-rooted problem of genetics cannot be changed. We are born with it, we can't change our genes. But yes, we can change in the way we live, we can change in what we eat, and we can look at ourselves if the symptoms start coming early, when you start looking at having the repeated threadings very often, or having your irregular cycles and just putting it off as, okay, it's just something related to stress. No, maybe there is a coming up PCOS. So at that time itself, if you can address this problem, things can be much smoother and we don't see all these complications later on in life. Mm -hmm. So PCOS, as I said, is a syndrome related mainly to excessive production of certain hormones, which is more in a man, which mm -hmm. is seen in a lady, unfortunately, because of excessive weight. We are talking about subcutaneous fat, we are talking about obesity. So in case you control your fat, you control your weight, you work it out, lose the fat, particularly fat around your tummy, fat around your hands and legs, then definitely there is no PCOS and the hormone balance comes back to normal and there is no such issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And are there any, any things that she should do if she is in that condition? You know, should she talk to gynecologists perhaps? What are the benefits of doing that? Yeah, yeah. gynecologists also would say the first treatment in PCOS is weight reduction. Mm -hmm. Keep your weight in control, then the periods automatically will be in control. Mm -hmm. And you will start seeing that the hair also would start appearing less, may even disappear mm -hmm. down the lane. But it's a huge effort. When we say weight loss, we are talking about multiple things happening. Mm -hmm. And it cannot be definitely achieved only by controlling what you eat, mm -hmm. it's also by exercise. Mm -hmm. and, and not just for the moment, mm -hmm. it's about lifelong. Okay. And it seems to be a condition that seems to be more affluence based. So as you are richer in life, I guess it's something that is that true or uh, it's sort of uh, widespread across the SEC, socioeconomic no. category? Uh, in fact, uh, there is a yes and no to your answer. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is seen amongst uh, cultures which they are mostly sedentary lifestyles, mm -hmm. eat a lot of junk food and are putting on weight. Yes, putting on more carbs, putting on weight definitely has. But yes, there is a no to your answer that we are seeing it even in the lower middle class and mm -hmm. even in the lower socioeconomic group mm -hmm. where the genetic will play a role right. over that point of time. So both of them linked together have a disastrous PCOS. Okay.
Thank you very much, Doctor. Appreciate the insight. Hi, Dada. You are listening to our weekly video cast from Little Baby Bump, a mom and baby center in BTM Layout Second Stage, Bangalore. To find out more, please visit lilbabybump.com or facebook.com/littlebabybump. Thank you very much for listening.